Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Civilization VI. Maybe turn down the volume just a skosh here. We're going to get a new game started here. And we're going to... Yeah, we'll create a game. We're going to be doing Rome. We're going to be doing Emperor difficulty this time, I think. So, difficulty number six. And we're definitely not doing a small map. We're doing at least a standard map. I'm very curious about the leader tooltips, so before we start, guys, please bear with me. I'm going to go through some of these that I'm interested in. Cleopatra is definitely one of them here. Alright, so... Her... So every civilization leader gets two unique... Every civilization, I should say, they get two unique uh, abilities. One is based on the leader, one is based on the civilization. Right now, most civilizations only have one leader. However, if we scroll down to the, not the bottom, Pericles, for example. So Greece's unique ability is Plato's Republic, one extra wild card slot in any form of government. And then Pericles himself, his specific unique ability is surrounded by glory, plus 5% culture per city-state that you are a suzerain of, which can scale ridiculously well. So... Say that you're a suzerain of five city-states, that's plus 25% culture. If somehow you get ten city-states to be suzerain of, I'm not even sure if that's there's that many on the map, that's double, that's like plus 50% culture, so that's like one and a half times your culture, so pretty good. Let's take a look at Gorgo here. She's the uh, one where things split up, actually. So... She still has Plato's Republic, and she has Thermopylae. Combat victories provide half of the uh, combat strength of the defeated unit. Which actually can be pretty potent, because I think the combat strengths are a lot higher than in Civ V. So I think you can get some pretty decent culture by uh, just going to war. I would have to play her to see if this works on Barbarians. If this works on Barbarians, it's ridiculously good for early game culture. Let's check out Gilgamesh too. Epic quests. Ah, that's what you get. Reward. Okay, when you capture a Barbarian outpost, receive a tribal village reward in addition to the usual gold. That's kind of big. Pay half the usual cost to levy city-state units. That's kind of cool. And then uh, his specific unique ability, I guess, is Adventures of uh, Endikudu. May declare war on anyone at war with their allies without warmonger penalties. Well, that's pretty big. When at war with a combo common foe, they and their allies share pillage rewards and combat experience if gained within five tiles. Um, mostly... So this is probably more powerful in multiplayer, to be honest, but I mean... Yeah, because trying to get an alliance on any of the higher difficulties? Kind of ridiculous. I'm also curious about the war card here in the Ziggurat. So... Adventures of Enduk... And can do? No, we already covered that. Warcart. Sumerian, unique ancient era unit. Stronger than all other starting units. No penalties against antique cavalry units. So this is basically their war chariot. It's a war cart instead. Plus four movement points if starts in open terrain, so it can move a lot further. Okay. So otherwise, it looks like a shitty chariot. It's a chariot pulled by assholes. I mean asses, <laughs> donkeys. It's literally a cart pulled by donkeys with guys and spears in the back. Ziggurat unlocks the builder's ability to construct a ziggurat, the unique to Samaria. Plus two science, plus one culture if next to a river cannot be built on hills. Interesting. I'm curious about the uh, Agaracopolis uh, here. They don't actually tell us a new district unique to Greece for culture sites replaces the theater square district. How is this better? 
it's more restricted because it needs to be built on a hill. But how is it better? So, uh, the Talichi for the Aztecs, for example, it provides double faith, double amenities. It provides faith and great general points. That's nice. The Mombasa for, uh, the Congo, they provide decent... Oh, this is interesting. This is the uh, Congo's other thing. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to go on for a while. Hopefully not too much longer. It's been going on for a while. So religious convert is uh, Mumbava Ngaza. That's his unique ability. Ninkizi is the Congolese unique ability. Plus two food, plus two production, and plus four gold for each relic, artifact, and sculpture. Great work of art in addition to the usual culture. So that really pushes them to uh, want to have those uh, culture districts in every city. Receive double great writer, great artist, and great musician, and great merchant points. The downside to that is that... Oh. If they ever get another Congolese leader, these guys are going to be overpowered as hell. Because the second part of that is tied to the leader, I believe. So religious convert may not build holy sites, gains a great profit or found religions, gains all beliefs of any religion that has established itself in a majority of his cities, receives an apostle each time he finishes uh, Mombasa or theater square district of the city's major religion. Interesting. So every time you finish one of those uh, two districts, either the theater square or the Mombasa, you've got an apostle. That's cool. That can work. I'm curious about this guy, whether... Because he's excluded from an entire victory type. Now, what happens if you wipe out the civilization that originally... The Civ that originally had... Uh, that founded your religion? Can you then gain a religious victory from your religion? Can you claim it as your own now? That would be interesting. Anyway, and the Mombasa district unique to the Congo can only be built in rainforest or woods, replaces the neighborhood but is available earlier, provides just a flat five housing, two food, four gold, regardless of appeal, which is good. The street carnivals, a unique district to Brazil, it provides more amenities. Anywho, I could be at this all day. And then this right here, the Hansa, for the Germans. It just says it's a unique district to the Germans. Doesn't tell us what it does. <sighs> so yeah, I was reading Total Bis or I was watching Total Biscuit's video on the his first impressions of Civ, and he was bringing all that stuff up, and I was curious just to get more information. Anyway, let's take a look at Trajan here. So, the baths... Oh, there we go. Now it tells us what the baths does down here. Provides a city with a source of fresh water from adjacent river, lake, or oasis, or mountain. Cities that do not yet have a fresh water source receive up to six housing. Cities that already have it will instantly get, instead get plus two. Must be built adjacent to the city center in either case. Baths provide an additional bonus of plus two housing and plus one amenities. Must be built adjacent to the city center. So it takes the aqueduct and turns it into something that's actually worth building. I'm not a big fan of the aqueduct. All right, let's get started, folks. It's been long enough, so we're doing Trajan, we're doing Emperor. Um... Let's do continents. Uh, we'll do standard speed again. Let's give it a try. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, 
To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, O Trajan, Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler, the Optimus Princeps. Okay, so... Rome's unique abilities, the civilization we're actually playing as. Trajan's unique ability, Trajan's Column. All cities start with an additional city center building. Starts with a monument if built in the ancient era. Very good. That's going to make culture gaining a lot easier. And the Roman unique ability, all roads lead to Rome. All cities you found or conquer with a starting... start with a trade post. If in uh, trade route range of your capital, they also start with a road into it. Trade routes earn plus one gold if passing through trade posts in your own cities. And uniquely, unique unit legion, unique district, the bath. So once this is loaded, I'm actually going to pop into the Civipedia, folks. I'm very sorry that I'm doing research live here but uh at the same time i am very curious i want to know about the agricop i want to know about this right here the unique greek district here i want to see what's better trade yields domestic international okay drum and poetry so it has to be built on a hill Plus, okay, plus one, plus one, plus one. Adjacency bonus, plus one, plus one, and plus one. Citizen yields, plus two. Trade yields, plus one, plus one. Culture, okay. Versus a theater square. So let's take a look at that. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so more, so the Agricopolis provides more adjacency. It also did something else different. Plus one culture from each adjacent, from each adjacent city center. Okay, so that's what it does. It has better adjacency bonuses so it's a very slight increase let's take a look at the hansa as well plus one production from every two adjacent district tiles that's standard plus one production from each adjacent oh plus two production from the commercial hub that's important that's where it comes into play plus one production from each adjacent resource versus the industrial zone Plus one production from each adjacent mine, plus one production from each adjacent quarry, and for every two districts. All right. Okay, that's enough looking in the uh, civil uh, civilopedia there, folks. Let's go ahead and get started. We're surrounded by mountains. Uh, let's do some quick exploration here. Well, lots of good land on the left side. We got lots of spices. Um. We'll settle on a hill, it's not bad. We'll have two mountains, three if... Well, we'll see how many mountains we have if we settle there. We can also get a campus on the other side of the mountain range. Sure, let's settle in place. Alright, let's get going. So we already have the monument, so... Scouts, I guess. Let's take a look at the citizen assignments. Uh, plus four, yeah, I think we'll keep that. And what do we want first? Our unique unit is down here in the classical era, so pretty soon. 
Uh, hmm. Let's start with pottery. I'll just have some tea while the game is turning. Right turns are super quick when it's the beginning. Oh, we're right on the continent border. So we're literally the crossroad of these two continents. Avalonia and Asia. Oh my god, that's the worst continent name ever. It's Asia America! <laughs> oh god. Okay, that is definitely going to have to be a subtitle for this. Ooh, gems. That's really damn good. I'm not sure what the yields are. Let's let's show yields. Those are really damn good. That's like salt. Good. For now, at least. Gems in the jungle? Heck yeah. Well, we found a place to settle a city. Gee, I wish I could use WASD. Ah, total biscuits. Oh no, the cow! The sheeps! The sheeps! Why do you have to be in the optimal location for... Uh, there's two sheeps. We may consume the sheeps. We may destroy the sheeps, folks. The sheeps may have to die. Bom dia. É uma honra Greetings, Pedro. You're probably not going to like me for very long. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. It is an honor to meet you. We would love to sample some of your hospitality. All right, we got boosts. We got some decent boosts here. We're going to have to get our second city settled in a hurry here. Yeah, I don't want Pedro grabbing and those diamonds. New policies in our government can be of great benefit. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. All right, um, let's start with this. Let's start with God King. That'll help us get a Parthenon. Yep, let's rock and roll. And, well, we discovered another sieve, so let's do foreign trade. Get ourselves a trade route up and running. <clears throat> Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique. Okay, we got a scout. Let's get a slinger out. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. <laughs> it's an interesting quote. Um writing? Animal husbandry? Irrigation's also an option. We can start working on irrigation, but... It might be an idea to just grab writing now. There's a lot of things we want to get, though. Um... You know what, for now, we have pastures we'll need to build. So let's start with animal husbandry for the time being. We'll just finish off all the basic ones. I'm biding my time to try to get more Eureka boosts for stuff. And I'm going to see if that uh, pays off. This is still like my third game of Civilization. I've did the first one as the Aztecs on King, then I fooled around with England, won the culture victory with them. Won a when you see this one, the Aztec one should be done, so it's... Kaire. Hey, Pericles. Pericles. Our city-state neighbors have made a... Okay, we met Toronto. Cool. 
Hopefully Pericles doesn't try to conquer them the way that... I'll be very disappointed in Pericles if he tries to conquer Toronto. That's what the AI tends to do a lot. Anyway, my first game as the Aztecs, I got a domination victory, which at this point I think it's safe That's to say... That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. The second part, uh, let's see. We want to keep this as is for now, I think. So foreign trade is done. Early empire is pretty important. To boost, grow your city to a civilization to at least plus six. Okay. Oh, fuck me. You're here? Aldrei var viking slík landsnje lagar. Ertu hrættur? No, I'm not afraid. I'm just annoyed. Oh, wait, I... Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Hey, guess what, Harold Hadrada? Surprise! Þú ætlið þig eldinum eiga stjórna. Surprise, buddy! Guess what you're not doing? <laughs> you just... You made a poor decision. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we need to get this guy out of here ASAP. Oh, fuck! No, 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 no. All right, where's that warrior? Well, so much for, uh, yeah. Yep. All right, we lost our settler that we captured. And on that note, I do believe that it is indeed time to build some warriors. Let's get a slinger out. Let's get this particular warrior up there. We're gonna start some trouble. Jeez, one fucking misclick just... <laughs> We have sent a delegation bearing gifts. Do not be alarmed. There is no large wooden horse involved. Thank you, Pericles. Your delegation is most welcome. Yeah, that one incident with the large wooden horse is very... Your delegation is most welcome, Pedro. We will happily be friends with you. Harold Haudrader, however, he's on our shit list. Because of that, uh, yeah. All right. Shall we do writing? Now that we're at war, actually, I kind of want to get towards this. So that means mining and ironworking. Well, at least I didn't tell you guys I was going to play a nice peaceful game. Like that would ever happen is wrong. They're doing it again! Ah. Oh. You just kill them. And a barbarian scout has found us. Bring him on. What's this? Gypsum. Luxury resource. Requires mining. Very good. I feel like this guy's going to settle pretty soon. That'll be annoying. So we're just gonna go ahead and bop his head. Alright, you can't really go anywhere. 
Next turn. He's already attacked. Of course he can't go anywhere. We lost our slinger. Unfortunate. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. That's the end of that turn. So timer has gone off. I'm going to give them a... Go away, Pericles. Not right now. He's happy that we're not uh, competing for city-state bonuses. Anyway. Let us deal with the barbarians to the north. <sighs> Why did they do this to me, guys? Torturing me with the frickin... Alright. Yeah, now we're just gonna play, like, catch the settler. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. Alright. So, uh, up as a bonus resource, or? I'm curious about, I need, just need to mouse over that. Okay, it's a bonus resource. So is stone. However, stone can be a, it can be a resource for faith production as well. Anyway, once our turn begins, we'll grab that settler once again. I think we'll throw down with the city right on the floodplain here. You too? Oh, well, you know we're Rome, so it's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality, I guess. All right, this time you locked that warrior. And then this warrior next turn is going up there. You're going up there. And I think that's a good place to throw down a cut, guys. I mean, we haven't founded the city yet, but it'll get founded. Uh, we'll continue to try to grow our empire. We'll see if we can peace out with the Vikings now. I don't think we have what it takes to actually capture their stuff yet. Although if we did, that would be awesome. Anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. It's certainly a lot more excitement and action than <laughs> you normally see. I know my play is not perfect. I'm going to work on it. And yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.